Alright, welcome back everyone to another Texan video and in this video I'm going to be showing you 13 recommended software for your netbook uh, which will make the best out of your netbook. So, um, you see these desktop icons here, these are the recommended software. So I'm just going to get started quickly because this is going to take a long time and I'm going to explain. So first off, we're going to start off with 360 desktop which will help you extend your desktop space due to the limited resolution you get on the netbook. Now last time I made a video on uh, 360 desktop so you can check that out so I'm just gonna be saying this to use this uh, just move your cursor towards the side and scroll through your desktop it's very smooth doesn't take up much memory and uh, you can even download third-party panoramic images to set as your wallpaper the wallpaper changes to a panoramic image anyway so anyways check out that video I made about 360 desktop so I don't have to explain much at the moment. Okay, so that's 360 desktop. Let's move on to Foxit Reader. Now, Foxit Reader is a great way to read PDF documents quicker and easier rather than Adobe Reader, which takes some time. So let me just open up a PDF document right here. And if I were to open it up, there you go. It opens instantly. Rather than Adobe Reader, it does take some time. Now, the only problem with Foxit Reader is that Sorry, it's not a problem, it's also a good thing that you can create PDF documents directly, but you will need to download the Foxit PDF converter. You will have to download that and then you can use this feature. You can convert documents into uh, PDF files. So yeah, that's Foxit Reader. You can uh, preview PDF documents faster and quicker. Let's move on to Game Booster. Now, uh, Game Booster is a great way to speed up, uh, to uh, free up some RAM. RAM if you want to play your games a little better so what this does it will disable all these Windows services you can see here and also some unnecessary services if you go to the configure section you can also disable some other programs if you want so when you switch to gaming mode it will free up as much RAM as possible now on Windows 7 it once freed up 410 MB RAM for me which I was able to play San Andreas really well which is a great thing you can also defrag your games by selecting on the game you want click on analyze I'll just show you what I mean and once it's done you click on defrag and it'll defrag your game so that you can make sure that you can run and play the game a little bit more faster so yeah that's game booster you can uh, free up some RAM by disabling Windows services in order to play your games a little bit next up we have is GIMP now if you have Adobe Photoshop you may realize that it loads up pretty slow and you may need a little bit more space on your desktop well, GIMP is a great alternative to Adobe Photoshop. It's free, it's fast, it's simple. And uh, if you can see here, it's loading up. It's a little slow because I'm recording right now. So anyways, you can see this is the GIMP interface. You can see the toolbox right here. They're all similar controls to Adobe Photoshop. The filters you get here are also very similar to Adobe Photoshop. And it also, and to tell the truth, GIMP also uh, supports a little bit more file formats than Adobe Photoshop, I think and uh, yeah so you can pretty much draw and do the same features as you would in Adobe Photoshop it's a little bit complicated at first but you will get used to it so yeah that's GIMP another great alternative to Adobe Photoshop next up we have is Google Chrome now, now this is the internet browser we all use these days it's very fast opens instantly and uh, that's why I recommend it for netbooks and what's even good about it is that it has only a few toolbars you would get on top therefore maximizing your web page space you can view so that you have more view, uh, space to view your web page and uh, what's also great is that you can even customize it with themes and extensions to make your Google Chrome interface look good it, you know even I would also recommend Firefox for netbooks but personally I would prefer Google Chrome next up we have is Digsby now Digsby is an instant messaging client which uh, lets you connect to other services like Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, Yahoo, uh, Google Talk, MSN and many other services all in one client called Digsby. Now first of all you would have to install Digsby then you will need to sign up for a Digsby account you can just click on don't have an account and then you can sign up for an account then you can link your accounts with other services like I said earlier and then you can chat with people from those accounts as well so yeah that's what's so great about Dixby but I didn't really create an account yet and I don't have internet connected right now so that's the only thing so yeah that's Dixby you can connect uh, you can uh, 
connect to other instant messaging services all in one. Next up is VLC Media Player. Now this is probably the best media player I've ever used. You see it opens instantly, it's very simple to use, uses less memory and it's a lot better than media player because it supports uh, quite a lot more video file formats and audio file formats and uh, one of the other great features you get you can even open a capture device where you can record the TV as well and uh, what else do you get you can even uh, create playlists as well in uh, VLC media player and also what's the cool part is that if you go to video and select on DirectX wallpaper you can apply the video you're watching as the wallpaper so that's pretty cool you can do your work and watch uh, videos at the same time uh, the video in your desktop at the same time and uh, what's also really cool is that when you're bored watching the video you go to tools effects and filters you go to video effects you can uh, apply really cool video effects such as puzzle game uh, you can even sharpen the image, image adjust, and then motion blur, uh, wave effect, gradient effect, and all these other cool features you can even do and even apply audio effects and use this uh, equalizer you can see here. So that's VLC Media Player, a great way to watch videos and listen to music um, faster and easier and also supports a lot more video formats. So let's see how long have I been recording. Six minutes, thank God. Okay, next up is WinRAR. Now WinRAR, I'm sure many of you already have it, so there's not nothing really much to say about it. But if you were to go for an alternative to WinRAR, you should get 7-Zip. That's a faster alternative to WinRAR, but I still do prefer WinRAR because it looks a bit more attractive and is fast at the same time. Next up we have is CC Cleaner. Now CC Cleaner is a great way to speed up your computer. Now what this program does It'll clean up all temporary files in applications such as Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer system, It'll clean up your system as well. And also it will clean up uh, files from applications for, uh, such as Firefox, Google Chrome, it will clean up applications, Internet, Multimedia and Utilities, and Windows programs as well, which will make sure that it'll speed up your com computer as well. Sorry, netbook. Now you can even uh, it will also scan the registry for errors and we will try to uh, fix those errors as well which is a great thing which is a great feature and uh, there are also some tools you can check out where you can uninstall programs uh, from the computer as well you can even disable and enable programs to start up and you can even manage system restore points which will help restore your computer uh, whenever something goes wrong with your computer and uh, the rest are just all options. So that's CC Cleaner. It'll help clean up your computer to speed up your computer. Now Dropbox is one of my favorite programs in this video and Dropbox is, a, is the perfect online backup solution. Now when you sign up for Dropbox you will be provided with uh, 2 GB of free online storage which is a good, which is a good deal. And uh, you can upgrade to 50 GB packages for $9.99 per month and you can even upgrade to a 100 GB package which is like an online hard drive for $15 a month now you can, now backing up with Dropbox is really really easy all you need to do is go to my documents and you will find the folder my Dropbox all you need to do is drag and drop your files into the my Dropbox folder in here it will be uploaded to your Dropbox that's all you have to do that's how easy it is okay uh, and what's even the great part is you can even share your files with your friends by providing direct by providing them the links to download the files to their computer and you can also access your Dropbox from devices such as iPhone, iPad, Google, Android and coming soon to the Blackberry uh, you can download the Dropbox app to the device you can access your Dropbox, share your media files from uh, your device and download them directly to your computer or your friends and family's computer or whatever it is so yeah, that's what's really cool about Dropbox. It's your perfect online backup solution. And uh, yeah, that's Dropbox. Okay, next up we have is Revo Uninstall. Let me just check how my recording. Nine minutes. Oh no. Okay, Revo Uninstall is a perfect way to uninstall programs from your computer. All you need to do is select on the program you need to uninstall and uninstall as usual. But what's the great part is it will next scan the whole registry to uh, scan registry entries involved with that program and it will show you you can delete them then it will scan the whole computer for programs associated with that program and then you can delete those programs as well 
This will make sure that you will completely remove the program from your computer, which will make life easy for you. Okay? There is also some tools you can check out. There's an auto run manager to control startup programs, the Windows tools section where you can open up administrative tools without having to uh, browse the computer. There's a junk files cleaner. I don't know what that does. There's even a hunter mode where there you get this radar icon in the desktop where you, all you have to do is just drag the radar icon to the uh, program shortcut and it will uninstall for you. Okay. So Reva uninstall is the perfect way to uninstall programs. From the Next up is Rocket Dock. Now Rocket Dock is this. This uh, dock you get on top. This is like a uh, dock you will get in Mac OS X. It's a perfect way to load up applications instead of having to use these desktop icons. Uh, it's really simple to use. Just drag the desktop shortcut into Rocket Dock and if you want to get rid of it just drag it out and poof it's gone. So yeah, that's Rocket Dock. You can easily open up applications instead of having to use desktop icons in a more attractive way. And finally, we have OpenOffice, which is an office suite very similar to Microsoft Office, which you can do the same features as text. You can create text documents in Micro like in Microsoft Word, spreadsheets like in Microsoft Excel, presentations like in Microsoft PowerPoint, drawings like in Microsoft Publisher, database like in Microsoft access and I'm not sure what formula is so if you can op if we open up text document you get a very similar interface to Microsoft Office 2003 let's say and you can even go to file save as and you can save the format as a Microsoft Word format as well in XP format as well and you can even uh, save it in a variety of other formats as well so you can see right here so yeah, that's OpenOffice, another great op op uh, office suite for your computer. Uh, 12 minutes, finally. Okay, so that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now these all, now all of these programs uses less memory than uh, the uh, alternative program, the original programs is alternative to. It uses less less memory. It's very suitable for a netbook. They're all free. Okay, they're all free. And uh, some of these programs are also supported on Ubuntu. GIMP is supported on Ubuntu. Uh, VLC Media Player is supported on Ubuntu. And uh, OpenOffice, I think it's supported on Ubuntu as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, even Dropbox is supported on Mac OS X, I think. So, uh, and also on Ubuntu. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, watch, subscribe for more. And now I'm really sorry for talking so fast because I recorded this two times earlier, but they ended up being in 16 minutes because now there's a 15 minute limit to a video. So that's the problem. I had to talk really fast and I had to talk less. But don't worry. If you want to know more information, you can always check out the article uh, about this um, about this video which will show you 15 programs which there are uh, two more programs you can check out I'm still typing it there's a lot which has more in-depth information you can check out so when I publish it the link will be in the description okay so that's about it hope you enjoyed the video if you did why well, subscribe for more so thanks for watching and have a great day